Hi everyone, today I will show you how to create review page in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin. Alright, so from here we need to install the Elementor. If the Elementor is not already installed on your system, then you would need to install this. Okay, so let's just write down Elementor and you will be able to see Elementor website builder. So I have already installed and activated this. So that is why I'm having the option of active. Okay, so after that, what we need to do, we have to go inside the pages and we have to click on add new page. Okay, so here you can simply write down name of the page. So I'm gonna write down reviews and okay, so we're gonna create the hosting reviews. All right, so let's just write down hosting reviews. All right, so now let's click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so as you can see here that we are inside our Elementor editor. So right now I need to go inside the setting because I want to change the layout of the page. So that would be Elementor canvas. Alright, so now you can see this. We have nothing on our page right now. Okay, so how can we create hosting reviews? That is really easy. I would just need to add the container and I will need to change the content width. That would be full width. Okay, so now what I need to do, I have to go back. And I will need to add the heading and I also need to add the paragraph here. Okay. And I have to put the paragraph into the center and put the heading into a center as well. Okay. So I want to have some space before my heading. So what I can do here, let's just click on this and go into the advanced. And here I can add the pairing. So I would like to go over here with 50 or maybe 150. Okay. So now this is looking fine. And then I can put something above here. But right now I'm not doing anything here. Okay. So after this, I will need to add the review card. Okay. But before that, let's just add our text here. So this would be hosting reviews. And here we can have our text. And after that, let's just add the container here as well. Okay. So in the container, I have to change the direction of the container here. So that would be horizontal. Okay. So let's click on this. Now what I need to do, I have to go back and I have to add one more container. Alright, so now I would like to build my review card. Okay, so first thing that I need to do, I have to change the width. So that can be 200, no, 400 would be fine for now. Alright, so now let's just go back and I would like to add the heading. And after that, I would like to have some text. Okay, and after that, I would like to add the reviews here. So for the rating, I'm going to write down rating here and you can see that we have the option of rating here so i can simply add this here and you will be able to see the rating here so from here i can change the rating scale so right now it is on the five star so i can increase this to the 10 stars okay but right now i would go here with the five stars and let's just have some values so i would go here for four the stars Okay, and I can change the icon if I wanted to. But right now, I'll just go with this. And we also have this alignment. So I can also change the alignment if I wanted to. Right now, I just keep it center. And I just click on the style here. So I can increase the size of the icon. I think this would look fine. I just go here with the 20px. And I can also change the spacing here. Okay, so this is looking better. And I can change the color and I can also change the unmarked color as well. And after that, in the advanced settings, we can change the margin padding and you can also see the other options here as well. Okay, so the one thing that I wanted to do here to add the text before my rating. Okay, so for that, I will need to click on the navigator and I need to add the container here. Okay, so you can see this container. So I have to wrap my rating inside this container. So let's put it here and this will be inside the container. All right. And if I just click on the container now, I have to set the direction to the horizontal. And now what I need to do, I have to add the heading here. So let's just click on the heading. All right. So I have to put this inside the container too. So let's just drag this and put this here. And now you can see this. We have our text before the rating. So I have to adjust the size of the text here. All right. So let's just click on the style. Go inside the typography change the size of the text okay so i think 18 would look fine now i have to click on the container and what i need to do so i have to remove the gap here okay but i think i should add the gap of 10 okay so now this is looking better all right so now let's change the text here so this would be hosting one so these this is the description and i can also add 
the benefits of our hosting so how can i do this i would actually like to use icon list here okay so i would like to drag this and put this above on our rating okay and here i can add the benefits if i want so let's just try to change so here let's just add benefit number one and then i can change the icon here so let's just write down check here and i would go here with this one so let's just click on insert now i need to change the color of the icon so color of the icon would be a green color all right so now this is looking better and what i can do here i can change the size of the icon so this is looking fine and i would also need to change the size of the text so this would be okay so this is looking better and i can also change the font family here as well but right now i'll just go here with the bold and i will need to change the color of the text as well so this would be black okay so this is how i can add the benefit so now let's just go back into the content and duplicate this and let's just change this into the benefit 2 and this one into the benefit 3 okay so this is how we can create this so what i need to do now i can simply duplicate this so let's just do the double click and you can see the option of duplicate and if i do it again you will also see the one more value here so this is how we can create the review card okay so i will need to change the values here so this would be hosting 2 and this would be hosting 3 okay so these are our reviews these are our benefits and if you want to add more details into it you can simply do it and if you want to add the border into these you can simply click on this and go inside the style and you can see the option of the border so here i would like to have the solid border and i would like to have a kind of grayish color okay so this will look fine this will be one and border radius would be 20 maybe so if i just click this so if i just click on the second hosting you can see my border here but i need to add some padding into it so let's just add the padding on all of these sides so this would be 20 maybe okay so now this is looking better so if i just click on this one now you can see i can add the background color as well or anything so let's just change the color here so this would be classic and i would like to have all right so this is looking fine now so if i just click on the second one so now you can see this we have designed our review cards so this is how you can review the second card and the third card as well and this is how we can create the review page in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel